Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I finally caught myself an Eevee, and better yet, I did it in one of the little distortion bits. So I also ended up catching a few other random Pokemon, but by far the best one, in my opinion, was the Eevee. And thankfully, we've got it now, so I don't really have to struggle, hopefully, too much in getting another one. Uh, and... I also ended up getting both Shield On and Cranny Dose both in there. I actually got two Shield Ons and one Cranny Dose, but uh, then I got uh, very low on health and such, so I figured, uh, yeah, time to leave. And uh, well, now I've also gotten up. I had already gotten enough points to start up, but uh, I was kind of hungry, so I was eating and just kind of playing a little bit. But we also now have some more Pokemon that I can uh, get rid of. Uh, one lady was wanting a... Uh... Okay, right. We actually have a bunch of Pokemon we can get rid of. We already have uh, a Pat uh, Patillily. Wait. We can just do this. Some peas. Uh, and Petlil. Okay, there we go. So then we know that we can do that. This, this, this. Apparently I've gotten quite a few Pokemon since I last played. Uh, and then we are good to go ahead and release those selected ones. Uh, let us cancel. Uh, right, actually. Uh, let's see, what one can we get rid of next? Starly we've already got somewhere, right? I mean, not like it really matters. Uh, so, we, we, you know what? We'll just kind of do it off of memory. So, we know we're good on the Tangela's there. Uh, but Doof, we already have a Bidoof over here. Nope, that's the barrel. Uh, one of the Bidoof, because, you know, yep, they're living decks. Okay. Uh, do we've got Cricketot? I don't care for Paris. We have Psyduck. We have Turtle. We have Gumi. I kept that one. Uh, Hopatoss. Okay, we do have both versions of you. We've got a Tangela. Krogunk. We do need one of you. We've already got the Luxray on our team. We only need one Luxio. We only need one Shield on. Which actually, yeah, we want to keep that one based off of base stats there that they've already got uh, done. We can get rid of the Psyducks, we can get rid of you, we can get rid of you. We don't need them. There we go. And that'll just get us a bunch of extra little... Oh, wait, we can uh, get rid of you. I think. Oh, well, if not, too late now. Okay, and uh, then we can also... Box two is full, three can use oh, you guys, you, and you. No, wait, that's the same one that we've got. I thought we had a different, did I, did I goof that? I might have goofed that. Oh, you know what? Oh, well. Whatever. Okay. And you, we can release. Apparently, I'm just bad when it comes to paying attention to what I have and don't have. Wait, we have a Paris as well, don't we? Yeah, we do have a Parasect already. And uh, we also do already have a Yanma down beside that one. Although, you've got three. You just have two. So, let's get rid of you. And the rest of these will keep. Octillery, I'm pretty sure, actually, let's put you in here because I'm pretty sure we'll use you here in a moment. Same with you. All before we go and uh, rank up. And let's just go ahead, get you guys all lined up up top here just to make it slightly easier to just go like this. And we can just put them there like this. So, and we can copy that, do it there, 
and I do want these to just be a little bit separated just to make it easier for me to know that those are the two. Alright, and uh, we get some of the... Uh, just one? Just one grit pebble? The grit pebble is the stuff that I actually want at the moment. I mean, the other stuff isn't bad, but uh, this is just used up immediately. And it still hasn't maxed out the rest of that stuff. None of them need any of that at the moment. Staraptor, you can take all of whatever you need of this. Which, th this is actually kind of nice because it just raises all of the, the... It just raises that stat and you can literally get this just by catching random Pokemon that you don't want and then releasing them. Which is quite literally how I've gotten like all of mine for this to get these guys all up like I have. With the only one currently on the team being uh, Sneasel that I won't do it on at the moment. And let's also get these increased just to make sure they're all the way up since they were already started. And let's also raise regular attack first because you know what, why not? And uh, we'll start with Staraptor again with the next level up. So I, I don't know exactly how much these raise the stats. Oh wait, actually I know how we can check Luxray. You're at... never mind. Floatzer is at 194 health. We do it once and it goes up all the way up to 205. So it raised the health up by 9 points. Which is quite a lot. But at the same time, I feel like the health is somewhat different in this game than it, what it is. Like, the stats are distributed differently in this game than what they are in the the rest of the Pokemon games. But, personally, that's not too big of a concern for me. Because I'll figure... I always find a way to derp my way through stuff. Which is kind of how I've been playing this game. And it, in reality, it's how I play all games. Alright. What other... Oh, you do have m more good stuff for me. A mechanical box? I unfortunately don't have 40,000, so I'll say yes, but I can't afford it, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. And, oh my god, she got lost again. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to you. Alright, I will talk to you, so uh, upgrade my satchel, please. We can upgrade it twice, which unfortunately isn't to maximum size. So, uh, I, I genuinely kind of want to know how big or how much space he can make this tiny little satchel carry. Because it already holds a lot. Doesn't mean the difference between life and death for me, it means the difference between how much stuff I can stuff in this bag. And right, we need to actually be down on this floor. Not to the third floor yet. Alright, hey, I'm back. Rank me up. Yep, here you go. Rank me up. To level 5, or 5 star. There we go. Star level 5. Halfway there. Does not mean that we're halfway through the game, though. I genuinely don't know how far we are through that part. And we can now use wing balls, or more specifically, we can make them. And up to level 65 at the moment. Sweet. I'm probably not going to, but yeah, I'll take it. Alrighty. I might be the only one among the survey cores that... Oh. That's being tasked with it. Okay. That you can task with it. Okay, well, to the Icelands! Just makes me wonder, uh, is their version of Iceland the same as ours, or is their Iceland their Greenland? I, I say that jokingly because, uh, you know, Greenland is like ice and Iceland is grassy. So, we're to make for the Alabaster Icelands? Yup. I see. Well, of course I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. Uh, there seemed a little choice but to interfere. But this Avalog out of out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. 
Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Al Avalok's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokémon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Mike's that out there, we'll be putting him in real danger of harm. But if the Lord is suffering and it's frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. I mean, we all know that it's connected to lightning that has come out of the space-time rift, as, you know, several people have said, so I kinda am pretty sure we know that it's, uh, not natural, at the very least. But, you know, whatever. You're the professor here. I'm just a apparently 15-year-old child. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? Uh... A way to coexist. That's what we're all with. Oh, I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor Lavington? Ah, oh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Mike Sled? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to pre- Deal. Deal. I'll fight you any day and whoop you every single time. And I'm- do you, do you want a Thunderstone here? Have a fucking Thunderstone. Please use the goddamn Thunderstone already. There's no need for you to still have it as a yellow rat. And we can just crunch and goodbye Mr. Mime. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, goodbye, Mr. Mine. And it was also a crit. Yeah, that was a very dead Mr. Mine. Alright, Staravia. Why have you not made it a Staraptor? I mean, truthfully, it doesn't really matter to me because, uh, oh god, you got three attacks in a row. That's kind of annoying. Alright, well, um, in that case, we'll just base Thunder Fang. Yeah, that'll do it. That got the key with perfect. And, uh... Let me give you a fucking Thunderstone to use, please. Please let me use a Thunderstone on your Pikachu. It will make your Pikachu so, so much better! Because it won't be a yellow rat anymore. Instead, it'll be a Raichu. And it's just better overall at that point. I mean, it's not truthfully, but it looks far superior, in my opinion, so right, I, Raichu is definitely better to go with. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokémon fighting together. Yeah, it's called being a professional, or Pokémon master, especially when I use one Pokémon to wipe your entire team. Huh, I didn't even actually intentionally do that. <laughs> About your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Well, I guess we're heading to the Icelands, Ress. Alright. So what is going to be waiting for us out here? I mean, obviously ice types, but... So, oh, right, Snowver and Obama Snow. They'll probably be here somewhere. Oh, what building is that? Oh, Snow Point Temple. That's Snow Point Temple, isn't it? I want to get there right now. I need to see inside of Snow Point Temple. 
My word, it's, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster icelands apart from the Tau Hau leading the odd supply corps excursion to gather materials. But the survey corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalog, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalog will be a dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adaman to try to keep yourself safe, please. No. I'm not going to learn anything from them. Quite brisk, isn't it? Nah. How are you not freezing? Yeah, that's fair. That is very fair. It's a good question. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see it eye, eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. You're, you're the one that reigns over space and you're both just wrong. <laughs> Forgive my bluntness, but if it, such a being even does exist, it's certainly not the almighty Sinnoh. You're right! That is the first thing you've been right about when it comes to this. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. At least he's smart enough not to argue that he might be wrong. At least sort of, sort of argue that he might not be, I don't know. They're both wrong either way. About the almighty Sinnoh. Which I find funny that it's Sinnoh is capitalized, but almighty isn't. Either way, we're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Snowpoint Temple? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could have meant when I... Yeah, you know what, I... Yeah, whatever. I failed that sentence hard, but whatever. So we're headed to a giant chunk of ice. Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See ya, Avalog's legacy. Take care. Um, I just want to point out, I am not going for, to Avalog's Legacy first. Ooh, snow run. Hello. Because, obviously, the first thing to do is go straight to Snowpoint Temple. But, like, the, there is no question about whether that's the first thing to do or not. Okay, snow for, for snow run. It could you... Yeah, that, thank you. There we go, got it that time. Right, uh... Yeah, it's, it's fine. We can just drop on down like this. Swap to this, get this item. Swap back. And just beam that A-palm. Beam that A-palm. It bonked him. That's not fair. And apparently my shadow was slightly not correct there. Oh well. I snow run. I'm fine. Don't worry. And get Sneasler out here. You know what? I guess we're going to the top of this rock first. That's what I think. Top of this rock first. See what's up here. Get myself the uh, spirit. The yeah, the spirit that's right there, as I expected it to be. Ooh. Also, what's down there? What's? I kind of want to know what's down there now. Gosh darn it! Now I gotta know. Dang it, me! Why'd you have to look? Okay. Whiteout Valley, as it's apparently called. 
All right, well, we can just kind of keep dropping on down. And we are good to drop the rest of the way down. And uh, hi, Snow Run. There we go. Just catch myself those. Oh, that's not what I meant. Got it. Professional. I truthfully don't really care to know whether I caught the snow run there or not. So I want to see what's all the way in this ice cave. Hi, friend. Bonk. Fine then, you rude little iceberg plant. You can get flame wheeled and die. That. Uh, no, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god, did I really just do that? That's so annoying. So, uh, if you were paying a little bit of attention there, uh, you probably saw the little emblem right beside Bergmite's name and such there. You know, the emblem that tells you, oh hey, that's a shiny Pokemon. Because, uh, this one, this one doesn't have it. It was right beside, to the right of, well, with this one, where it shows female. It was to the right of that. The first freaking Bergmite I find. Shiny. What do I do? I murder it. I murder it. I'd like to say in cold blood, but it was in very warm blood. Because, uh, you know, rapid ash is fire. It's ice. Alright, well, I guess it's just a tunnel where you can catch Bergmites. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so it does look like you are wanting us just to... Ooh. Pillow swines and such. Swine up, pillow swine. No run. Get the pillow swan. Oh, nope. Nope, the snow run got back. Or the swine up got back out. Oh well, whatever. I'm still annoyed with myself for the first. God, that's so annoying. The first one I find, and it's. It's a shiny, and not only that, but I immediately kill it. Oh, so annoying. Ooh, Snover. Hello. Hello, friend. You don't see me here, so, uh... Bonk. Okay, I wasn't sure if he was gonna break out or not. Okay, we've got another one. If you could be so kind as to turn around, please, in three, two, oh, no. Okay, be so kind to please turn around in three, two, one. No? Oh, haha! Yeah! I knew it was worth uh, sarcastically waiting a couple of moments longer. Oh, broke out. Oh, and apparently he noticed me. You know, even though I'm behind him. I just keep wasting balls. Okay, well. 
Hey, look, it's a barrel and a badoof. You missed me with your attack there, buddy. Also, um, it still wants me to go right there, which I'm not going to. Because, uh, Snow Point Temple. I, I've got much better stuff to be doing right now than doing whatever the main story is. And that's, like I just said, called Snow Point Temple. Also, how is my character not cold? He definitely isn't wearing sleeves of any kind. So, like, he has to be cold at this point. Like, there is no way that he could not be cold. Yeah, let's just pick up the items as we go up. Oh, Sneasel. Okay. Okay, bye Sneasel. Oh! Oh wait! That'll mean that the, the Reggie symbols aren't uh, destroyed. We'll actually be able to see what's all what the Reggie all, what all of the Reggie symbols are that are on Snowpoint Temple here. Oh hi Kadabra. Ooh, rally. Alright, Rally, let's go ahead and fight. Since you decided to- oh god, you're level 50. Alright, uh, let's just flame wheel. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. That's fine. You- you can do that. It's gonna give you a full heal, so, uh, you're even lower on health now. Are you gonna lose again? Nope. Frick, it killed itself. God dang it, Rufflet. Not Rally. Why did- why was I saying Rally? Okay, swapped our balls. Got it. Oh, perfect. Yes, caught it too. Nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, so, oh. They, they literally just mark five, six, seven, eight. Interesting. Wait a minute. In Diamond and Pearl, the entire back part of this is, like, buried. Oh, there is a person guarding here. Hello, Pearl Clan person. Only the, the only ones who may enter Snow Point Temple are those of the Pearl Clan and Sabi of the Diamond Clan, for some reason. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I'm guessing, though, that at some point we'll probably end up having to go in. Probably, you know, like, shortly after we do the main story part that we're doing right now. Or that we're supposed to be doing. But, you know, I prefer to just do it the hard way. Speaking of that, let's, uh, let's not be stupid about going down this. Do it this way. And, yeah, we're, we'll be fine. Oh, hey look, we're, we found the pearl settlement. I totally intended to do that. It definitely wasn't just by accident that I found you. Hi, guys. Uh, I, I don't think I actually have anything to do here right now. You're just a good teleport spot for when I... Right? I do have teleport there now? Yeah. You're just a good teleport spot for when I finally get the ability, or when it finally tells me to go to Snow Point. Wait! That also means, yeah, Lake Acuity. That one, that, oh, hello, uh... Yeah, climb up this. Oh, you can't just climb up this. Okay. Well, in that case... Jump up it. Jump up it. Jump up it. That's... Jump, jump. Perfect. 
And there we go. And then we'll just go ahead and meet up with the rest of these guys then. Hello, friends. And strange guy that decided I'll be shirtless and have a blue tattoo. Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Ablog's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Show some respect, Adamin. Uh, not gonna lie, I agree with Adamin in the not caring. Let's begin with some proper introductions then, shall we? I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Mike Sled, right? Of the Galaxy Team. Um, you know... Introductions means that I introduce myself. But, sure, whatever. You, you go ahead and keep speaking. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? Yep, I was commanded to. That leads me to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? I don't know. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it that your heart tells you to do? Don't know. I'm a fucking child, bro. I'm only gonna answer I don't know. Our lord, our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble, but there aren't we also duty bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if this is what you hope to accomplish, then uh, we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Deal. Let's do it. I'm ready. You're not. I guarantee you're not. My mat muscular musculature yeah. My musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through it? No, I don't have to. I'll just melt it. Only a Glalie? Nope. Glalie Frostlass. Okay. Um first and foremost then we go Goodbye, Frostlass. Because, uh, yeah. Frostlass is easily the harder one to, uh, take care of. But now, that's taken care of, so goodbye, Glalie. Also, I was not fully healed. So, uh, this is just even sadder on your part. Yeah. Cool, couple of level ups that uh, don't really matter, but uh, that's beside the point. Outstanding! I'm as tough as an iceberg. No, you're not. But you smashed me through and through. No, I didn't. I melted you. Get it right. Come on, man. I suppose you can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like him, but I'll vouch for him. Then, if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim... You'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to him. Okay. Claim the eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll be a need, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you've got a lady named Sabby. Oh. Oh! The, the Sabby. The person that is, for some reason, allowed into Snowpoint Temple. Probably to get the ice. Ah, aha. Tell the long story. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. Well, whatever. Listen up. This Eternal Ice stuff can be found atop Avalog's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even S Sneasler can climb this surface. Oh, on top of the ice. Okay. Let alone a person like you or me, you're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Garrick wants to manage to climb nearly to the top of Aval Avalog's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it with to within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. Yeah, um, well, cool, prove it. Do it again. And, uh, about Savvy, how do I put this? 
Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Oh, you'll understand. Yes, no point temple. What? Never mind. Here she comes now. She's a child. Again, with the child, but oh well. My clairvoyance told me that I'd le lead you on my chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Savvy, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Savvy, and let me focus on my workout while I still can. Okay. So we just need to speak with her, which means we just simply go boop. Boop, boop. Oh my god, weird here. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I've made it. Hello, my name's Sabby. Nice to meet you, Mike said. Pleasure's mine. Ah, I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalok's frenzy, don't you? Yes. Well, you'll get it if you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary. Well, shit. I don't even get to see which direction she flies off into first. She's just poof gone. Okay, um... Okay, well, she's all the way over here, so... Oh, that's a thing we want. I want that. Come on. Oh, wait. Give me that. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Glavy. Bye, Glavy. That's rude. I thought I was gonna be far enough to avoid it, but apparently I wasn't. Okay, there we go. And just climb up this way. There's a Sneasler here. And there we go. We made it. Hello, Max Head. You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. You let yourself get caught. Get it right. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. You might not be. No one really knows for sure. Hmm. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop will be Snow Point Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm? No, you're bored, obviously. Get it right. I got it. I, I sometimes know. Sometimes. Usually don't. But I'm gonna go with your board. You got bored of me chasing me down already. That would be my guess. And also, I saw this mound is nice and glowy, so uh, give me that stardust, please. Cool, thanks. Oh, we also got a snowball out of it. And then we can just, uh, we can just go boop. Benefits of deciding, hmm, look, Snow Point Temple, let's go there first. Is, uh, now we don't even have to worry about, uh, getting all the way over here. Because we're already here. And by that, I just mean simply that, uh, we don't have to travel across the entire distance here to get here. We just teleport the majority of it. Of course, we still have to climb up, which is annoying, but nothing really can be done about that part. I, and at this point, I just want to know why specifically Savvy is allowed inside. And I'm guessing that it's probably just the fact that they couldn't stop her from getting in. Like, I, I feel like she just continually did, went in over and over until you guys got bored of trying to stop her. Or annoyed with trying to stop her from going in. Also, let's go ahead and get those points. 
not that I even plan to currently do anything with it. By the time I would, it'd be a good little bit, but yeah, whatever. Hi again! It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question is, am I really having fun with you or am I bored? Hmm? It's simple. Answer number two, you're bored. I, I've already figured that out. That's why you're playing with me. I heard her, what she said. If you don't, ha if you have Warden Savvy's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned. Those who cannot solve the temple's problems, puzzles, will not get very far within. I've heard the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Oh, okay. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern. The Reggies. Yes. Yes. I, I totally paid no attention to what the rest of what he said in that sentence. I, I caught symbols on their chest and brain went, ooh, Reggies. Oh. oh, that makes so much more sense now, then. Because this guy is one that is still there. Even in the, the future when everything's kind of collapsed. Collapsed slash uh, been destroyed. Also, is there really just nothing up here? In here? Oh, there it is. Another set of stairs. Wait, so if we... Oh, rock. Uh, okay. So, rock. Steel. Ice, right? Okay. Wither the statue's gaze. What? Uh, rock, ice, I did it wrong, I did it wrong, I, alright, try it again, okay, so we go rock, steel, ice, right, yeah, perfect, it was either that or the reverse way. Alrighty. Oh, yes, please, this first. Hello, Spiritomb. Slowly getting closer. The 16 in this area? Is that saying this area as in Snowpoint Temple or just kind of in general? So, ice is staring at. So, ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel. Rock, ice. Okay. Okay. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. A little bit of a memory game. You essentially have two options. Option one, remember the pattern. And option two, write it down. Option two is easily the better one. But, uh, I like to be a pain to myself and not. Uh, alright. Okay. Um, you stick to you to you. To me you to you. Oh, okay, this isn't too terrible. Okay, it looks like we go steel, steel, ice, st steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock. Right? 
No, frick, I messed up the last two. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Oh, right. Steel, ice, rock. Rock, ice. God dang it, me. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, ice. Okay. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Right? That was the right pattern? Yeah, there we go. I just I didn't remember the pattern the first try. Okay, well, we made it. Moving in. Alright, what's next? I found where we get curly. <laughs> um, um, hi, Glade. Okay, so you're a psychic type. Yeah, um, no. Also, no, bonk it, bonk it, bonk it. Okay, okay, that's fine, that'll work. Okay, it is level 16, so I cannot actually attack it, uh, but we can just go straight for a great ball. Alright, come on, Ralts. Stay in the ball. Come on. Yeah, perfect. All right, good. Whew. All right, well, that, that makes it nice and easy. Uh, we just need to evolve this Ralts, and then we can get ourselves the the next set of hairstyles. Oh, right, another one. Bonk. Yeah, nice, nice. And nothing over there. Okay, that's a turn. Oh, and we're into this art part now. Okay. I made it. I made it here. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you fly with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. However, the future turns out flying with Bra however the future turns out flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Going to take us on? Yup. I don't even need to fully heal up. I didn't pay attention to what Mons she just said, but uh, this is not a good combo because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm low. Thank oh. That's the trio that you're going with. Okay, uh, so rock, fire, and electric means that the planning is to take out electric first. Take out electric, send in water, and we're good. Okay. Uh, that is not ground type. Okay, uh, you aren't really going to... I didn't target. Oh my god, I... I'm so used to targeting after move selection that I just messed up my targeting. But that's fine, we got a burn on Rhyperior. So this actually works out kind of nicely. Because you can take out Typhlosion, that is perfectly fine. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, throw it all off by sending in Sneasel. fine. Okay. Okay. Apparently it's not fine. Okay, so the hope... Alright. So right now... Rapidash is also low on health. Oh, this is gonna go so badly. Alright, Rapidash. I just need you to not take a hit. Okay, we're good. Uh... Neo. Target you. Okay, uh, so we can push the Magmortar to attacking first with Agile, and with Strong it just pushes Rapidash's next attack back. 
which actually currently isn't a bad, bad thing since we're so low on health. Okay. Strong style fire spin sh or fire wheel should take out the electrovire. Yes, it does. Okay. Good. Good. That is good. Okay, your high horsepower really doesn't matter to me. So, uh, yeah. So now we go ahead and send in Floatzel. And, uh, well, you see, we can go ahead and, uh, just water pulse you. Might put out the burn, but that doesn't matter because you're dead. And that just leaves Meg Mortar. And, uh, yeah. You're gonna go down just as easily. If not even easier from a strong style water pulse. Boom, that's a win. There we go. Alright, get those in. Ooh, move master. Wow, and you caught you caught us and you beat us? You've won all our games so far, but Braviary still wants to know you even better. Go up to your roof. Okay. So are we going to battle the Braviary as well then? I mean, truthfully, that would be perfectly fine with me. But let's find out. Um. Yeah, we, we're, we'll be fine. Because uh, even if we do have to battle him, we've got our electric type of... Uh, Luxray still, so we're good. Alright, Brave Weary, why not test out his strength for yourself? Yes, we do. We do battle it. I guess we're starting with Staraptor, though. Alright, Staraptor. Uh... I guess... Okay, the Air Slash won't push us back, so let's do that. And we actually do a good chunk of damage there. We're gonna go agile style. That is fun. Really? Going for roosting? Interesting choice. And you go hurt him. Okay, uh, we're not down yet. Okay, let's do regular air slash. Because, uh, we do get another attack right after. So we strong style air slash. The Braviary is not down yet. But, I mean, that will take us out there. Okay, well, sorry, Straptor, I tried. Okay, go Luxray. This battle is now over. Because, uh, Thunderfang guarantees a KO. I mean, Thundershock would have as well. In fact, like, any of Luxray's attack moves probably would have. But, uh, there we go. Ooh, Luxray also has uh, got a new move. Grr, I can't believe Braviary lost. But that's that. Thank you for playing with me. I guess I'll head home now. Bye. Uh, wait. I was kidding. Play along, play along with me on your flute. Of course it's the same tune. Why would it be any other tune? At this point, I'm almost certain it's because your character is telekinetic. I mean, especially mine. He's literally wearing a hat, not on his head. And there's no proof that there's anything holding it to his head either. It just literally is off of my head. Well, whatever. Well, hey look, sky plate. I don't even know how many of these plates we've got. Thank you, Sabi. Sure, having him fly. Sure, having my side fly to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. World where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Or do you think this is the Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? 
If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble, calm Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? It won't. I guarantee you right now it's not going to. Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who have been living here in history for ages. How come you're all, you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamin. Hush, Sabi. I can feel history on the move. As far as I can see, the one on ushering in this new era is you. So, if I stick to you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. Question is, the question is, does this seem to anime fascinate you, or bore you to tears, hmm? Anyway, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the element Eternal Ice. That's why you need Braviary in the first place. Alright. Um. So does he just... So he does just glide, it doesn't actually fly? Is that how it works? Okay. Glide through the air. Can't summon... Okay. Okay, so it doesn't seem like he really actually flies, per se. Never mind, he does. And we can Y to dive, B to dash. Just make it even faster. And if we dive, does that dive all the way down? No, it just goes down. There we go. Okay, we made it. Got some crunchy salt. And that we just have to press A on. So let's wait a moment. Okay, that's all of the items right there. So we can go ahead and investigate. Oh, Arceus phone is ringing. Uh, what? What? Why did it? Okay, whatever. Okay, apparently that's all it took. <laughs> At last, the summit is conquered. I see you've made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained their eternal ice. Did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Doesn't matter. Have fun climbing back up. Push. I do have to respect the effort you're putting in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord Avalog. M meet me at Ice Peak Arena. I have no idea where that is, friend. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall, like, tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. So he literally jumped down. Okay. Uh, so we need to go this way. That's the answer. We go this way. Apparently just follow this path. Which, I mean, it'd be really nice if uh, we could actually fly up higher. But it looks like that's not an option. Hello, Machoke. Oh. I see friend is here as well. Why, if it isn't Mike Sled. What a pleasure finding a filly finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of, an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat with about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gops gossip? Absolutely I am, without a doubt, every time. And why wouldn't you be? Exactly! I like to listen. So, Avalok, yes, the fifth of history's nobles. And that he, that he is. 
And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? I literally fought an Arcanine in a volcano. So, uh, no. It'll be just a nice change of pace. Not, not really hard, just a change of pace. What's more, apparently the Avalog of Old could be up to 100 feet tall. Oh, dang. Why does that seem too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training your all. Nothing better to, for building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena! Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Bye, friend. Alright, well. Uh, no, not you. Not you. Bye, Machoke. Hello, Machamp. And, uh, yeah, no. Alright, and here we are. At the top. I'm ready. Uh, actually, I'm not ready. Oh, I am not ready, actually. So we are to quell Avalog, as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making the, some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, with the, and with muscles like mine, it'll be a moment's work. Uh, also, are, are you going to be so kind as to heal up my team before we run into this? Because, uh, that's definitely what I need to do. Okay, so we're going to click maybe later. And actually looking at the time that I've got recorded there. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.